Hello there. My name is Corey, and I am a Star War. And my name is Corey, and I am a Star War. My name is Jim, and I am a Star War. And we... We are, are a Star, Star War. War. I thought he was going to record that and play it back. He no. was testing his mic. Okay. No, well, we're going. My bad. False start. Fuck it. We're going. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome. We are going to uh, recap... Ahsoka episodes one through three. Not necessarily recap. We're going. We're going to complain about it. We're going to talk about it. Discuss. Jim's going to complain. Some of Jim don't like the Star War anymore. I am a Star Trek. No, you're not. Some of us like Star War. (laughs) You don't like the format. We don't all. Let's go ahead and get started there. Let's do it. Go ahead. It's you. All right. What happened in the first episode, Corey Martin? Uh, Episode one was called. Master and Apprentice. Um, Balin Skull. Sounds about right. Big. He's got that dip. Big beefy dude. Mm -hmm. White beard. Very cool. Got the things on his shoulders and his little. He's got a Padawan. She's blondie. Her name is. Shin Hati. Shin Hati. Her name is Hati. Her 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 name is Hati. Her name is Hati. (laughs) Is it? Is it? It is. No. That's That's what what the internet said. Um. (laughs) Yeah, so they're uh, they break in and steal that witch lady. That's that right. That's we right. We had seen Ahsoka. She was the uh, magistrate. Put that lady into custody, mm-hmm. and now this show opens with that woman was supposed to be going to prison or something, I guess. But instead, bad guys broke her out. So before we go any further, let's let's dig in on that. Mm-hmm. The New Republic is really bad at transporting high profile <laughs> uh, targets, right? I'm looking at you, Moff Gideon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they're two for two. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> they're not very they're, good at they're it. They're not good at it. <laughs> no. Is that the only thing that happened in that episode? <laughs> that was the whole. And then, uh, star map. They obtain a star map. They got the star map in the first episode. Mm-hmm. I guess so. She went to the place and got the thing, and made the thing move. And it was all very rebels. Where they, every time they would go and find a new wackadoodle. Jedi Temple, there was a different way to make the mountain open up and a temple pop out of it. And it was always pretty cool. Yeah. And that happened here. And it made you say, hey, this is Rebels. Did you like Rebels? How many times did what Chopper threaten to murder somebody in that episode? Yeah, I don't Many, I guess. I think every time he talks, he's threatening to kill someone. Yeah. He was in the, yeah. Was, was, that, was that the episode where he was looking through his shit and he was like, you went through my shit. And she was like, I didn't go through your shit. Or was that episode two? I think that's two. Okay. So the first two episodes while we're talking about this take place in the time period leading up to the last episode of Rebels, right? There's that time jump at the end of the season, season four of Rebels. And then there's a time jump and we see them again. Right. And this is like we see J- baby Jake, not baby, but young Jason mm-hmm. Sindula, right? Mm-hmm. So these first two episodes take place in that time jump is what I was is told. Is what you were told? Is what the internet was told me. I've to also me. read that and then I didn't understand it and I still don't. I didn't read it and it was confusing, but that's probably my fault. But I still, every once in a while when I'm watching these shows, I'm like, is Darth Vader alive? What time is it? <laughs> Where am I? Who, what is my name? <laughs> who do I who of all the people that could show up right now who's on the list right. is it Darth Vader or is it Kylo is there a baby Kylo no, out no, there right Vader now Vader is dead because suppose also supposedly episodes three through eight take place at the same time of Mando season three right so Vader is dead because that's like eight years. Season mm-hmm. three of Mandalorian was like eight years after Something like that. Return of the Jedi. And Luke's okay. out there with a empty Jedi temple that he built himself so he could train Grogu. But then Grogu was like, nah. So no. now Luke <laughs> is just sitting there. Mm. Something like that. Sounds about right. <laughs> All right. That's what Wikipedia says. Um, and then uh, we meet Hera, who we didn't know from the cartoon but we know from the live action that her booty <laughs> <laughs> will not quit that's what i was told yeah that's i'm gonna agree with him on this one that's what the internet says is okay. that her booty yeah. will not quit michael scott would agree yeah uh so the first one is all about the map they found the map what's going on and then they go to uh 
Cetos, and Elizabeth. This is episode two now. Is Toil and Trouble? That's and those two, yeah, and they released those two. But it came out the first night. Back, back. Gotcha. yeah. We 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 <laughs> see Sabine in episode one, right? Yes, she's there on Lothal. She's, she's got long end. hair. Mm-hmm. Just out um, there whipping ass. And at the end of episode one, uh, she gets stabbed by the hottie. <clears throat> She is does. That, is that the end of episode one? Yeah. Apparently it is now that I'm reading that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. And then the ghost of Qui-Gon is like, you can just get stabbed. Right. So now everybody, we can get stabbed. Everybody gets stabbed. So and I, they're I, just fine with it. I don't think I sent this to y'all, but there's a doctor out there on, on TikTok. <laughs> of course there's a doctor out there. That did the science on it and was like, <laughs> a lot of nerds are mad. Because Qui Gon got killed, and now apparently you can just survive. Also, I mean, Darth Maul got cut in half, and yeah, survived. Yeah, let's, some, let's not look past that. <laughs> yeah. But she was talking about the science of where Sabine got stabbed versus where Qui Gon got stabbed, and he got stabbed where there would be a vital organ and or major artery and or and or and or <laughs> either or. um but sabine's was not sabine's was off center and could have made a clean pass i keep very important stuff off center right <laughs> right in my guess. we don't need our intestines or our kidneys um, <laughs> um they go to corellia they're like duel with Maroc, 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 yep. the mystery man of the right. show finally appears and and we all we'll, we'll what, save it. What? What Who can is this that person be? Man? Is oh, that the 17th brother it's a star or is it the fourth killer. cousin? What if it's is Ezra? It's star killer. It's Ezra. He was corrupted by Thrawn. It was kind of fun to think maybe it was star killer, even though I had no idea who was star killer was until my son told me because I don't play the video games. Yeah, I'm not clear on it either. So he was like a Darth Vader apprentice after mm-hmm. he became Darth Vader? Mm-hmm. Sounds dumb. I mean, cool. I hope it's him <laughs> next time. <laughs> Instead of what it was. That might have been a better payoff than what it actually was. It was just a bag of farts. <laughs> it was just a bag of farts. <laughs> and she poked it in the woods. And he was like, ooh. He went, <laughs> <laughs> Hurt. Hurt. Exactly. But I think that was in the third episode. That, But they found the Eye of Zion, which is the giant hyper ring thing that they're building oh, yeah. on that planet when they Which get is there a little bit like your uh, toy over here on the table what do you got there that's what you gave me that's him um it's uh obi-wan's ship yeah the obi-wan's jedi cruiser from attack of the clones mm-hmm. right yeah where they had the, where the hyper rings. the hyper hyper drive was separate from the actual ship so yeah. they took that and made it bigger very big mm-hmm. pretty cool like so big, big it's faster than a whale. I like big ships. And I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so then that Ahso- was- yeah, Ahsoka recruits Sabine to go find Ezra. Yep. And what happened in three? Um, and then three is called Time to Fly. They're starting to train. That's where they uh, go to Setos and they're fighting. And Sandula goes, even though they didn't that's back right, her That's right, that's right. Um, She's like, fuck y'all. That's the one where Mon Mothma is now the chancellor yeah. of the New Republic. And yeah. she's like, I can't do nothing, homie. Yeah. And I'm like, mm, you can't do nothing, mm-hmm. chancellor. Mm-hmm. So your big complaint. <laughs> I got plenty. We don't have to start with me. But your big complaint. It's not a TV show. It's a movie cut up into parts. There's literally no payoff in in any episode, with the exception of the bottle episode, which we'll get to, which was episode five. What about episode six? Did did you watch it last night? I did watch it. There's payoff there. We'll We'll get get there. We'll get to it. I but you were you were big mad after like the first three episodes. It was episode four that I thought was hot garbage. Yeah, and he was like, "I ain't watching this shit until the very end, and then I'll watch it all at once." But then he has watched. Well, but then be- five came out and you can't. Well, that's because I love that. you guys and 
and the Star Wars. And you were like, we can't talk about it in our text thread until you watch it, asshole. So watch it. <laughs> and that's, that's why I was like, all right, fine, I'll watch it. It's true. I just need you to think about us <laughs> right. for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I did my part. I watched it. And episode five was some of the best Star Wars I've ever seen, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Not yeah. today. So some people had an issue with Ahsoka hopping out of the ship and like, you know, fighting off the the incoming fighters when they were uh, when their ship got. Oh, when she was taken running around out. on the outside of the ship. Yeah. Yeah. She did, she did that, that before, every episode in, in, the in the cartoon. She was always outside. Yeah. You couldn't keep her in the spaceship. Yeah. She just liked to ride outside the ship. Basically, the second half of the Black Widow movie is stolen from Ahsoka. <laughs> jumping out of the thing and being like, I don't need a parachute. I'll meet you at the bottom. And right. she does that thing where she like falls, oh, like, that's right. fights her way down the debris to the ground. Yeah. And then like the fucking Siege of Mandalore episode, right? I think, I think so. so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so it's like, like, that's what they did in Black Widow. They blew that thing up and then she was just like, no, oh, whatever. So I'm just saying. What did you think about those first three episodes, Corey, Hannah? Um, I, I I will admit that I'm a little like you and that it does seem a little disjointed. But I also trust fully in what Dave Filoni is doing. It's it, He's a little, I don't want to say hogtied, but, but like... <laughs> I'm she, at a loss for words. She's censoring herself right now. Y- yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Like... He knows that he's not making 30 minute episodes of Rebels, right? Right. And I think he's trying to pay fan service, which some people always get mad at, but I always appreciate. But at the same time, I think like you have to just throw out the idea that this isn't regular TV anymore, right? I I think that's fair. I have a I have a problem with a lot of current scripted Television. Sure, but I've been, that's my I've been, problem. I've been not trying their to problem. figure out the, a way to address that because I know that's what's bothering you, and I think you just have to think about it a little differently. Is like TV is changing, and because they're having to produce content like this, right? Like it wouldn't be exciting if they were just like, "Here's a two-hour movie." I mean, it would be exciting, but at the same time, like. It's a little exciting for me to to get little pieces and string it out and be like, okay, well, we're going to get more of this story next week. I don't have a problem with season arcs. What I have a problem with is there not being any narrative closure inside each episode, right? Like you don't have to answer the big question in the episode. You can create conflict and, you know, some kind of, issue between characters or something that needs to be dealt with within that episode. The TV show, the bear did a great job of doing that. Every season had an arc was driving towards some big thing, but every episode had some character coming to blows and some kind of resolution or a resolution enough to keep going into the next that I thought that worked and they're not doing that in Ahsoka. They did it in Andor. I think what they do instead in this show, honestly, is like more saber duels. It feels to me where a lot of saber fighting in this one. Yeah, because I was like at the. um, Oh, thank you. Sorry, I had to move the microphone. When um, when we were watching Andor, it was exciting to be like, there won't be Jedi's in this. There won't be X wings. Mm -hmm. And then this one, it's like. They're all Jedi. Everyone in the show is a Jedi. Right. Or I used to be a Jedi. Or I was just born. Now I am a Jedi. Like, whatever. Make me a Jedi. Okay. Everybody can be Jedis. Mm -hmm. That dead guy's a Jedi. So it's all (laughs) Jedis and it's all lightsaber fights. Especially when there were supposed to be no Jedis. So, yeah. They're silly with Jedis. (laughs) A bunch of Jedis that did not help with anything. Did not help. I still feel like they haven't, like, really addressed that, right? Where's she been? Why didn't she help Luke, her friend, during that whole no. rebellion thing that she was such a big part of? Nope. Why wasn't she in the original trilogy? Like, they need to do something where they're like, well, man, I can't believe I just spent five years trapped in that whale. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the whole freaking war. Oh, well. Yay, we won. No, we still haven't gotten... Balin's full backstory. Yeah. What do you think his right. full backstory is? 
So he grew up a Jedi, right? He's, he went to the temple. He's talked. He talked about that in, in episode six. He survived. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that when we get there. Well, but I mean, he's in this first episode. He's in these first yeah, three. So true. like, who is he? And, and what is this not Sith, not Jedi mercenary character? I mean, he's he survived, right? And then after Order 66 is when he was like, hmm. Yeah, I think I that's the part we don't know yet. Because right? he, it doesn't seem like he's full on, like, he's not full on Sith, right? Right, because right. his saber is orange. Orange. Not red. So he's... And I kind of like that. I like that he's not Sith. I like that he's doing his own thing. That's kind of cool. Ray Stevenson's amazing. I have long thought that the most interesting unexplored thing about the sequel trilogy is the Knights of Ren. Mm -hmm. Cool looking. Don't know anything about them. They don't do anything impressive in any of those movies. And then they're all dead. But it sounds cool. The Knights of Ren and they all have different heads and shit. So maybe... Maybe what we're seeing is like the beginning of that because we're we have to lead into like Force Awakens is ten years after this or something, right? Right. right. Hmm. We got to get there somehow. Yeah. So maybe they're the baby knights of Ren. That's why I asked you that one night. I was like, "How do you spell Sabine Ren?" But it's with a W. Oh yeah. I was like, maybe that's the end of this. Is her becoming a cult leader and putting on a black mask and <laughs> so. Calling people Kylo. In in Rebels, she was trained by Kanan. Is that right? Mm-hmm. To wield the Darksaber? Mm-hmm. But that was all she, he taught her, right? Did she have like straight up Jedi training? He was training? teaching her to, yeah, he started with more Jedi training. Okay. I don't remember that. He didn't get very far. But there's also in the show, they kind of make it sound like they were together and Soko was training her for a long time. And then walked away from her, right? Isn't mm-hmm. that what happened? Yeah, so, I don't remember that. Well, I think that's happened like in the meantime oh. that we don't know about. Yeah, that's what I'm gathering too. So she's had training. Yeah, but Kane, apparently she's just not Kane, good at it. There was a whole thing about Kane and telling, I think it was telling Hera in Rebels. He was like, yeah, she don't, she's not strong with the force. Yeah. He's like, she has abilities like, and is good at fighting, but she, you know, she's not forced. She doesn't have a lot of midichlorians. She doesn't lift, lift a lot of rocks. She's not a rock lifter. She did get no. a little, little, little force action in episode six. Yeah. Was it? Was it force was it, action? Uh, or was it just the death, the Star Destroyer arriving on location, smart. shaking the whole building? Smart. That shit um, flew over my head. Because. <laughs> It, That's it, a good pun. Hey, oh, it, it did. <laughs> it did. Fl- it flew over our head on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what do you think? Jim's mad. I think the first three episodes were pretty good. They didn't blow me away. There were moments, you know, like we got the part of a scroll at the beginning of the uh, first episode. I love episode. that. I love mm-hmm. that. That mm-hmm. was cool. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Sabine looked fucking badass going down that highway on that. And that was a callback to Rebels, right? Casting wise, everything's great. Yeah. Yeah, It was awesome that way. There were the little teases, like she's in her little room in her house or whatever. And you can see the little Mandalorian helmet like Mm -hmm. under the shelf or whatever, right? That was awesome. I was Um, like, oh, that's coming out eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little quicker than I expected, but uh, it's cool. You know, there's tension between she and Ahsoka, and you're trying to figure that out. And then there was the fucking mural, right? The mural was at the end of episode nice two. Loved that. Um, you, you know, little little things in there, but like after those episodes, it's like, all right, let's come on now. So, what's the name of the uh, Jedi robot trainer? Huang. 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 He's an asshole. <laughs> He had a pretty badass droid fight. I mean, he, no, thing. no, he's cool, but like, he's like, Sabine, you suck. He's Go 15, home. 15,000 years old. Right. He's, it's kind of weird, like, that it's just like, oh, just kind of casually, like, that's the oldest person in Star Wars, and he has known every Jedi that's ever existed. Like, what? Okay. We just gloss over that. He's just your co pilot. He's not like in a vault somewhere. <laughs> 
He's got like more than the sacred texts like in his head. That's right. Like if why didn't Luke go find him? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think? I'm watching y'all. This is fun. Was he? I mean, he's mean to Sabine, right? Yeah, he was a little mean. So I think you had another complaint where you were saying that these shows kind of like uh, lead you along, kind of pull you in places and there's red herrings and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, which is happening with all of these TV shows. What's that microphone in front of you? I don't want it to him. be right in front of me. But you be looking at him. <sighs> I'm very self-conscious about. The, all right. <laughs> They can hear me, you know. They don't need to hear me. They, can hear they me. don't need to be in your septum. <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, red herrings. Yeah. So I have somewhere in one of those Marvel shows, I just kind of let go. And I said, these aren't going to be that great. None of these TV shows are. Yeah. I need to stop thinking that like the people who put together the Infinity Saga, which I will love forever. And it's beautiful. And it's mm-hmm. a work of art. Nothing will ever be as good as that. Even if the exact same people are making the movies, they're just not as good as that anymore. They just can't replicate that amazingness. I would agree. And so I've just learned to be like, well, you know, I'm going to get a sword fight. It's going to be cool. I learned a bunch of people's names. They'll all be dead. I'll forget it. It won't matter anymore. Like when someone has their own show, then I'll start learning their name. (laughs) That kind of thing. Well, Ahsoka has her own show. Yeah, I know her name. Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka Tano. I know both her names. I do think it was clever on Disney's part to release the the shows at a primetime hour Mm -hmm. on Tuesdays and making it more like old school appointment television. Mm -hmm. That that's that's an interesting change. It kind of fucks me up, though, because I like to get up and watch that shit first thing in the morning. Well, I mean, you can wait and watch it Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to do that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> don't you remember when we would all get together and watch the x-files yeah that was a big deal that was you know what the x-files did most of the time told a story in the episode <laughs> god damn <laughs> that's true but those aren't the ones we wanted to watch and those aren't the droids we're looking for no like, we wanted to watch was, the mythology episodes I was, yeah, I was like i don't want to watch one that starts and finishes i want one with black oil coming out of people's eyes and i will never know what it means i want to see the one where for skinner, the rest of my life i want to see the one where skinner like helps them yeah you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. begrudgingly <laughs> saves their lives they've reopened the x-files they've done that like three or four times since the show ended somehow <laughs> somehow Palpatine returned. I mean, I'm pretty sure the last episode I saw, they were like all making out with aliens, like on a ship. <laughs> They're like, well, we know you're here I don't and know we know that, you like kissing. I don't kissing. know that that was the X-Files. So then they were I all think that kissing. that was the triple X-Files. I did have to click on like three different parts to watch it. It wouldn't put it all up at once. I thought that was weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a different movie. <laughs> Shit. It was very poorly made. I'll tell you that. Uh, what else? Three episodes. The first three episodes were pretty pretty good. Um, obviously, five was the shit, um, and we'll probably focus on that in the next episode. Yeah, which we'll be recording in a few minutes. Um, but you know, I think part of my problem is I go in with such high expectations because I knew Filoni wrote all of the episodes and directed. One of them, right? He for sure directed five. He directed yeah. episode five, yeah. Um, so you go in with super high expectations, but that's on me, I guess, right? And I mean, I, I don't hate it at all. I don't hate it. <laughs> I'm annoyed by it, you know, and I think it's going to be a lot more fun to watch when they're all out and, you, you know, can fast and, forward through some bits. And it's, and well, it's the whole movie's done, but the, I love Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. And I mean, she's doing some things. The character is doing some things in this first three episodes that feel not like Ahsoka. Like her, her choices just don't seem as bold or brash. And that's Mm -hmm. also true for Sabine. Like, and I get it that they're older and we can talk about some of these age discrepancies when we get into the next batch of episodes. So I'm putting a, I'm putting that out there. I want to talk about that, but like, you know, they're a little more reserved and 
you know, maybe that's their age. You know, the time has passed from Rebels to these first few episodes of Ahsoka. But also, even though we haven't seen it, they somehow survived the Empire, mm-hmm. right? They somehow were, you know, doing whatever they were doing when that was going on. Somehow. Somehow. Yeah. So, you know, it's not the same. I thought I thought the Ahsoka that was in the Mandalorian episode from season two and the B- Book of Boba episode, that felt more like Rebels Ahsoka. Yeah. yeah, it felt more like it. But also that was that was her playing a supporting role, like you were yeah. talking about earlier today, yeah. um, earlier. Early. So, you know. Yeah, it took me a minute to get used to the way that she's playing Ahsoka because Ahsoka that we know is like young, spunky, mm-hmm. diving, jumping, running, flipping. And this is like reserved. It's and it, to the point where I'm like, I know that she watched some of the show and she knows who she's playing. Right. So it's not like she just went in and was like, I'm going to do this person. I'm, I'm, I think that it, it has to be a choice. Yeah, and so I think it's I like, like she's, it's a story choice. It's like yeah. she's gone through some stuff. And so she's a quieter, more reserved. Think before you leap kind of person now, maybe. And we'll get into it more in the next uh, podcast when we're talking about episode five. But. I feel like she's shut off a part of herself because of who her master was. Mm-hmm. Right. And I, we can talk about that later. But like I started thinking about her choices and that reservation, that quality of her character where she's not as brash as she used to be. And I wonder if some of that has to do with the fact that, uh oh, my teacher was a bad person mm-hmm. to be continued. That's a good, good point. Good talking point. Especially after some of the things that happened in episode five, which I'm I'm excited to talk about. But that's for later. Do you have any questions or any toys or what we got? Yeah, we got let's anything do, exciting. Let's do. We've got some questions that, from a prompt that didn't get answered um, a few weeks ago. Um, and before we get into the questions, let me read this. Uh, this is something that kind of made all of our day uh, about a week or so ago. Um, I just happened to look and see if we had gotten any new reviews on Apple Podcasts. Uh, and I, w- I wanted to read this to the listeners. Um, it is on Apple Podcasts from singer-songwriter from Beham. Uh, not sure who this is, but we thank you. Uh, it says, I've now listened to every episode. This podcast is hilarious, at times quite thoughtful, and feels feels like the listener is joining in on a night of drinking whiskey and talking about a Star War among friends. That is usually exactly what is happening. Welcome. Uh, um, welcome. Down welcome. to the whiskey. Uh, nailed it. I appreciate the... I appreciate the candor about what parts of a Star Wars are a little shaky or have holes with the host's transparency that ultimately they love a Star Wars. The best soundbite from the podcast is no one hates a Star Wars more than a Star Wars fan, but they love it. And so do we. Thanks, fellas. Uh, to you, dear listener, we thank you that um, brightened all of our days. Yes, we love you now. And I, in fact, had to go back and read it again the next day and just get a little smile on my face. Sometimes... Uh, we do this mostly for us. So the fact that anyone is listening, especially someone that we don't know, I'm just assuming we don't know this person. It may be very well that we do know this person, but uh, it was, it was me. It was Jim. (laughs) Jim does not live in be him though. Um, but so, yeah, so there's that. And then let me get to, uh, questions. We had some questions left over. Um, so Aaron had a question for the next podcast session. If Jar Jar was going to be a Sith Lord, what would his what would be his fighting style? Um, it's got to be haphazard, right? That motherfucker was clumsy. yeah, like, like that kung fu style. That's like, like the drunk, drunken drunk monk, drunk monk. Yeah, drunken I tiger, think it would be like that. Drunken pony stance. Yeah, and uh, it would be called, you know he could do some damage with those ears. It would be called Misa drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Misa Fu. Yeah. Misa Fu. Uh, Spencer Duncan says, like <laughs> how would a fleet of Mon Ramondas with rogue and wraith squadrons handle a crate invasion fleet? And can you make cheese out of blue milk? I'm like, gonna, I'm I'd gonna, like to take the second I'm part gonna go first, with the please. second one first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with yes on the, on, um, the cheese from blue milk. Can and have. 
<laughs> yeah. You didn't mean to. <laughs> it just turned into cheese yeah. in the fridge. It's quite easy. So actually. what is that? Like a like a stinky cheese, like a gorgonzola or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. But mm-hmm. it's not a gouda. <laughs> it's not a gouda. It's not a gouda. Oh, no. uh, so the first question. So the first half uh, of that question is yeah. amazingly detailed and to the point where I question whether or not I'm a Star Wars fan. <laughs> well, I thought that the I thought five <laughs> seems like a good answer. I think the answer is five. It seems like a good answer, but I do want to. I want to. Wish you I want to back Corey's up to face. it. I want to back up to it. <laughs> I want to understand the ships that he's talking about so I don't feel like a total moron. Well, here's the my- crate one, that's the planet from that's Last salty, Jedi, right? Salty planet. So that's those it says junked up. K R A T H. Crate K R A I T was the salt planet, right? Yeah, I don't. I mean, is this I can't. A person is I can't this a Star Trek anyway. question? Did it's he trick not, us? Is this a Star, a Star Trek? Trek question? What is a Mon Ramonda? I don't know. You got the internet. Ask the internet. It, but he says with Rogue and Wraith squadrons. This is this is a this is detailed, very detailed Star Wars. This is very detailed. Shout out Speezy Deezy well from the done. Polys. Well done. You but I still think the Star I, th- I think I still think five is the right answer. Five could be the right answer. Uh, Mom Ramonda carries uh, four squadrons of starfighters. While hunting Zinjis, these called Rogue, Wraith, Nova, and Polearms for the crew that continue to serve. It's one of those, it's the ones that look like a big oyster. They're like a big like football, but with like tumors all over it. Gotcha. It's oh, those the, things we've seen a hundred times. Those goiter ships. Apparently that's where they park the shit. Oh. So now read that question again, now that we know what we're talking about. Armed with knowledge, thanks <laughs> to the internet. How would a fleet of Mon Ramondas with Rogue and Wraith squadrons yeah. handle a Krath... I'm going to say Krath invasion fleet. I don't know who those guys are, though. Is that the fleet that I mean, is? Are we talking about what they sent down to attack them? In no, that I movie? think I, I was wrong. That That's a boy, different planet. Yeah. So search yeah, yeah. K-R-A-T-H. Oh, my God. This We're makes, not very good Star Wars. This War. makes good radio. This is incredible. We're solving problems, say guys. Say it again. K-R-A-T-H. I know T-H. the three of you that are listening to this, only one of you knows exactly what he's asking in this question so the other two of you are on this information discovery journey uh the craft were a secret society founded by aristocrats alima and satal kato in the year 3998 bby didn't you want to know that so that's who's invading but I, what kind of ship do they have and have we seen that ship before hell no it was four thousand years before jedi <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody seen nothing for them. Oh, no, nothing's low. Oh, there's a lot of ads on the thing that was explaining it. So now I'm, I've lost interest. Gotcha. All right. So, um, so how would those old ass, badass dudes from that show that none of us know about handle a bunch of just rogue squadron and rat so, squadron? So is it Spencer? Mm-hmm. Why don't you write back and tell us <laughs> what you think uh, the answer is other than five? Which still I, seems plausible. I think it's certainly in the realm of potential answers. What, what else you got? What else? What other I mean, questions? we've got stuff for many episodes, but we'll save those for many episodes. Oh. Um, um, if you guys have good ideas for a little 20 minute mini episodes, then you should send them in. Um, s- smash that like button <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about it. <laughs> Isn't that what they do? I think that's what they're supposed to do. still smash it. You yeah. can still smash it. Where, whereas smash. I hate to use the phrase pod, Jim hates smash that like button. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, like sm- and subscribe. Sm- smash that pod. <laughs> Cast that like. In other mm-hmm. other news, our shirts were taken down from T Public. We got uh, taken down. We got noticed because yeah. Disney saw it and yeah, I think it was because shot Jim in the foot. I think it's because you tagged Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tag shit. Uh, Blaine Duncan put it up on the T Public site, and he said he thinks it's because there was. I mean, one of the tags was Star Wars. <laughs> well, <laughs> that goes right to the lawyers' inbox. Like, Very yeah. subtle, Mrs. Esther. <laughs> <laughs> like a million other shirts on T Public that are Star Wars themed, right? But, uh, anyway, so we it's back up uh, on tpublic.com and it does not say Star Wars in the tags. You can search for uh, "We Are a Star War" 
and it'll come up. It should come up. And if not, it's in the Alabama Takes store on tpublic.com. If they search the word butthole, will it, <laughs> <laughs> will it come up? Side note, Jamie didn't realize that our logo was three buttholes it's until three just buttholes. the other day. It's three buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think that'll probably do it for this episode. We'll, uh, we're will we itching to get into episodes four, five, and six, uh, which we are about to record. So uh, be on the lookout for that next episode. Follow us on Instagram uh, at We Are a Star War. I did create a Threads account, uh, which I don't use yet. Threads. Threads. And on Facebook, you can find us at We Are a Star War. And be sure to uh, listen to all the other podcasts that are on our network of uh, friends at thealabamatake.com. Are we on X? We are not on X. Good. Yeah. Uh, That's where Nazis. Nazis. (laughs) Nazis go on that now. Yeah, we ain't there. We don't like Nazis. We'll stand up and say we do not like them. We don't like Nazis. I'll punch a fucking Nazi. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right. So next episode (laughs) coming soon. We thank y'all for listening. Uh, And if you do enjoy the podcast, please share it with a friend. We would appreciate it. And leave us a review on Apple Podcasts if you haven't already. And Corey says smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Fam. Smash it. Until next time. Smash. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Smash it.